Hello again. Remember this trivia? Which of these Swedish directors won the Palme d'Or twice? It was Alf Sjöberg for Thor. Well, it doesn't work anymore because Ruben Östlund won his second Palme d'Or this year. The triangle of sadness. Five years after winning the main prize with the square, the Swedish director takes the top prize again. Triangle of Sadness is a deliberately outrageous comedy Thank you so much. that tells the story of models Carl and Yaya Can you relax your triangle of sadness? who venture into the fashion world together as they explore the limits of their relationship. The two are invited to a luxury cruise ship where they meet a monthly crew of super rich passengers, including British arms dealers, a Russian oligarch and a Marx quoting alcoholic captain. At first, everything seems Instagrammable, but a storm blows up and the cruise ends catastrophically. Carl and Yaya find themselves marooned on a desert island with a group of billionaires and only one of the ship cleaners. The chain of command is suddenly reversed when the survivors realize that this person is the only one who can cook. The two-hour, 35-minute film will be released in France and Poland on 28 September, in Sweden on 7 October and in Germany on 13 October 2022. The Grand Prix went to two films, Close by Belgian director Lucas Dont, the youngest director in the competition, and Stars at Noon by veteran French director Claire Denis. Stars at Noon is an erotic thriller with some very sensual moments, but the public's interest seems to have leaned more towards Don's film, built from the memory and pain of a boy who, faced with the fears and social pressures of his fragile transition to adolescence, betrays his best friend and himself. The award for Best Director went to Park Chan-wook for a decision to leave. The South Korean director had already won the jury prize at Cannes for Thirst and the grand jury prize for Old Boy. Tariq Saleh won the Best Screenplay Award for Boy From Heaven. The Stockholm, Sweden-born director previously won the grand jury prize at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival for the Nile Hilton Incident. The jury prize went to two films, EO by Polish-born director Jerzy Skolimowski, who in his long career won awards such as the Golden Bear in Berlin in 1967 for The Depart, the Best Screenplay Prize in Cannes in 1982 for Moonlighting, and the Special Jury Prize at the Venice Film Festival in 2010 for Essential Killing and for The Ottomontagne by the Belgian couple of director-screenwriters Felix van Groningen and actress-screenwriter Charlotte van der Meersch, who previously worked together on the multi-award winning The Broken Circle Breakdown in 2012. The 75th anniversary prize went to Tori et Lokita by the Belgian brothers Jean-Pierre and Luc Dardenne, who had already won two Palme d'Or at Cannes, three special prizes of the Ecumenical Jury, Best Screenplay, Grand Jury Prize, and Best Director. The Best Actress Award went to 41-year-old Iranian Sar Amir Ebrahimi for her leading role in Holy Spider, directed by Ali Abbasi. Sar Amir Ebrahimi had previously won the Best Leading Actress Award in 2018 at the NICE International Film Festival for her work in Reza Rahimi's Bright Price vs. Democracy. South Korean actor Kang Ho Song won the Best Actor Award for his role in Broker, directed by Hirokazu Kore Eda. This is the most important award this multi-nominated and multi-award winning actor has received in his already extensive career. In the Uncertain Regard section, the Uncertain Regard Prize went to Le Piré, directed by French directors Lys Akoka and Romain Guéret. The Jury Prize went to Joyline, directed by Pakistani Saim Sadiq. Best Director Prize went to 1980-born Romanian director Alexandru Belg for Metronome. The Best Performance Prize was shared between the 1983 Luxembourg-born actress Vicky Krebs for her work in Corsage, directed by Austrian Mary Kreutzer, and French actor Adam Bessa for Harka, directed by American Lofty Nathan. The Best Screenplay Prize went to Mediterranean Fever, directed by the 1970 Israeli-born Palestinian director and screenwriter Maya Haq. 
The Cap de Coeur Prize went to Rodeo, directed by 33-year-old Paris Bond director Lola Kiburan. The Camera de Or went to War Pony, directed by Riley Keough, American actress and director, granddaughter of Elvis Presley, and American producer Gina Gamel. A special mention went to Plan 75 by Japanese director born in 1976, Ayaka Washie. And that was all for this year. We'll see you again next Cannes Film Festival. Ciao!